Welcome to our Failcraft Hero Spotlight series for Heroes of the Storm. Today we're featuring Zagara, the broodmother of the Swarm. Before we start, please remember that all gameplay shown is from the technical alpha, and hero abilities and gameplay are not final. The Swarm endures! Zagara is a ranged specialist hero who can do a great job of putting pressure on enemy lanes, minions and buildings. Depending on how you play her, she can also support her team well in team fights with a few nifty abilities or completely own the battlefield in terms of her mobility and vision. For her abilities, Sagara can summon a variety of dangerous Zerg warriors from her group while supporting them with vision, range and healing. She can pressure enemies and structures well from range and in a pinch, close in and reach out to kill fleeing heroes. Zagara's trait is Creep Tumor. Dropping a Creep Tumor generates creep in an area surrounding it. As the essential life bed of the Zerg, Creep benefits both Zagara and her minions. Whilst on Creep, both minions and Zagara can move more quickly. Zagara's health regeneration is increased. And Creep also provides vision of the map, useful to keep an eye on your enemies. Using Creep Tumor as Zagara is essential. At a minimum, you should try to keep your lane in early game for speed and health regen. In the mid to late game, try keeping Creep Tumors up at key map objectives and skirmish points, allowing better movement for you. Zagara's first ability is Baneling Barrage. Firing in a straight line cast, Baneling Barrage unleashes a stream of Banelings in the direction of the enemy. Banelings explode on impact with enemy structures, units, heroes or neutral terrain, so be sure to fire them in a straight line. Baneling Barrage is excellent for putting enemy forts under siege, due to its great range and damage for clearing waves of minions in lane, or helping damage enemy heroes from a safe distance. Baneling Barrage can be upgraded with greater attack range, greater non-hero damage, and increased numbers of Banelings through talents. Zagara's second ability is Hunter Killer. Calling upon her Zerg brood, Hunter Killer summons a deadly Hydralisk to aid Zagara doing damage to and following a single target for a short period of time. The summoned Hydralisk shoots from range. Be sure to cast Hunter Killer at the largest range possible to increase its chances of survival. Hunter Killer can be upgraded with greater attack range and damage, change to a flying Mutalisk with bouncing attack damage, and double the charges through talents. Sagara's third ability is Infested Drop. Summoning Wrath from the Skies, Sagara calls in a Zerg Drop Pod that does damage to the target area. The Drop Pod then spawns two Roachlings who deal damage for a short duration. As well as generating more creatures for your assault, remember Infested Drop does damage when the pod lands. To use this to its best effect, be sure to drop it on top of minions, structures or even enemy heroes if appropriate. Infested Drop can be upgraded to spawn more Roachlings, to give Roachlings more life for each kill they make, or increased initial drop pod damage through talents. Zagara's first heroic ability is Devouring More. Calling into the depths of the planet, Zagara calls for aid from Devouring More, which does substantial damage to the enemies caught within it. Devoured enemies are stunned for 4 seconds, cannot move, and take additional damage per second for the More's duration. More is a great initiating spell. It's brilliant for taking an enemy's team healer or assassin hero out of a team fight, and can be the difference between a won and lost fight. Remember that Zagara doesn't have the hugest health pool, so choose carefully when you're going to cast more. You're going to need backup to use it most effectively. Devouring more can be upgraded to do more damage, with its cooldown reduced by any enemy heroes it kills at top talent level. Zagara's second heroic ability is Nidus Network. Requesting the aid of Nidus Worms, Sagara can use Nidus Network to quickly travel between up to four entry and exit points of her choosing. Nidus Network gives Sagara the ability to really dominate space if you place the entry and exit points carefully. 
In the early to mid game, try placing a Nidus Worm in your base and near your front lines, allowing Zagara to go home for a mana and health, then quickly get back to the action. In mid to late game, Nidus Network helps Zagara become a mean jungler, mercenary camp farmer or split pusher depending on your team's build up. With a Worm at base, one in the top of the map and one at the bottom, Zagara can very quickly push to move lanes, kill mercenaries or assist her team where needed. Nidus Network can be upgraded to spawn attacking broodlings upon Zagara's exit from a tunnel for your final talent. For a lane pushing siege build that lets you push lanes very hard, try the following talents. Ventral Sax, Medusa Blades, Volatile Acid, Grooved Spines, Baneling Massacre and Broodling Nest. Although you're very strong against buildings and minions, you sacrifice a lot of team fighting utility. Always have Nidus on hand in case you need to run in a hurry and remember to speed creep. For this build, leave a Nidus in the Hall of Storms near your core so that you can retreat and heal quickly. In the early to mid game, try leaving your other Nidus near the healing well to keep it safe. Place your other Nidus worms in nooks and crannies around the map to avoid detection and give you your escape route. For a build with more burst damage and team fighting ability, take the following talents. Centrifugal Hooks Envenom Volatile Acid Grooved Spines Brood Expansion and Tyrant Moor if you choose Devouring Maw, you give Zagara maximum effectiveness in team fights. The burst damage of this build will allow you to take more advantage of the crowd control the Maw provides. Although your damage is better, you're still squishy. Position yourself well and don't go alone. Thanks for tuning in to the Zagara Hero Spotlight. Please subscribe to our Failcraft channel for more Heroes of the Storm and leave your comments just below the video. Thank you and see you in the Nexus, hero.